with pineapple papers and do you see all of this gorgeousness? I'm so, so, so excited. Um, Jody from Spiegel Mom Scraps asked me to be the guest designer for the month of October. Um, I am so excited. You can, I have been jumping up and down. You, you have no idea. So um, she sent me these gorgeous sequins and I get to play with him all month. So on Tuesdays, I will be bringing you a layout featuring one or many of these. So today I am focusing on this one, Tropical Teals and Elegant Winter. So let's get started. So today I am scrapping this cute picture of my daughter relaxing as we were Black Friday shopping last year. It was the first year she got to go. So I thought it was just super cute and the colors were perfect. So I have taken two pieces of paper from the confetti paper pad from my How to Kill a Kit with Style for October. And I am going to use them as my background. So to start, I decided I am going to make a shaker pocket out of this cute little frame. And I'm actually going to use the packaging that the frame came in. So that way I already have two sides that are completely attached. So I trimmed it to fit. I'm just going to add a little bit of my tape runner to one side so that it's only open in the top. And then I'm going to add some sequins. So I decide to use the tropical teals and then I decide just to pull the black ones out of Elegant Winter. So I'm just gonna drop those in and my packaging was a little staticky so I'm just using this little jewel picker up to pick them up and add them in. Now to seal the top, I decided to use my fine line bottle that has scotch tacky glue in it. And it does work, but it took forever to dry. Like we went to church, we went to dinner, we came home and it was still a little wet. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend that type of glue if you're wanting to get it done right away. Now, I learned this super cool um, technique at the Secret Not Secret Kit Retreat. And Christina was super nice and taught us how to sew on sequins. So I decided that I wanted to do a sequin border that goes where the two pieces of paper meet and I am just using the black from the Elegant Winter and then all of them from the Tropical Teals. And the Tropical Teals has this like, I don't know, super pretty gold sequin that has texture. It almost looks like kind of those fans that are on the background paper. So to start out with, I just took my tape runner, ran a line down the side, and I am going to just attach the sequins in random. And then here, that is all done. So you can kind of see what that looks like. And that looks super pretty, like I could have just left it right just like that. I think that if I wasn't sewing them on, though, I probably would have used my wet glue. So now I am going to poke the holes and you can use anything. You can use a tack, you can use a needle. Um, I have this little uh, We Are Memory Keeper little punch thing. So I'm just literally poking the holes where the hole is in the sequin. And I have just some fun foam from Walmart. Um, I'm not sure where my pad is, but you could use a mouse pad. Any of that would 
um, totally work for the background. And then I just used a simple back stitch and I'm using this floss and I decide to only use two strands. So I end up using, so the length that I cut, I end up using two, two times of it. So um, four strands total for the entire thing, which is really good. And I love how it turns out. So I'm going to give you a little close up here of what it looks like when I am done sewing because at this point I decided, okay, you guys don't need to watch any of that. So that's what it looks like. There will be a close up at the end of it as well. So now I wanted those sequins to stand out any, even more and I felt like they were really going to be lost if I left it as a clear background because the background paper is so busy. So I had this cute, um, it's not necessarily a project life card, but it is um, from the cut apart and it's a little silhouette of a girl and the color was just perfect. So I just adhered that to the back and I'm going to do some layers behind my photo. I do one, two layers of tissue in kind of that orangey color that matches the, the silhouette of the little girl in the frame. And then I have these two leftover pieces of paper, just scraps hanging out in my paper pad. So I line both of those and attach those down. And then I am going to go through my embellishments. So I love these flowers from Freckled Fawn. And I knew I wanted to put them down. And then I remembered, okay, so where am I going to journal? Because it is really a cute story. And I might actually get it journaled this time. We'll see. Um, so I had that little bag that was the same color as a pom-pom trim. And then just popped one of those tags in there. And I decided that I wanted to use one of those cute girl hearts and it says sweetheart. And then those clear stickers, I thought it was so cute. It said, don't quit your daydream. <laughs> and she's kind of sleeping, I guess. Um, so I put that directly on the photo and I grabbed the wood veneer and I'm going to use the Dream Big and the Beautiful. The Beautiful did snap when I took it off because it already has its own adhesive back. But I was able to just squish it together and you could never even tell. So just a couple finishing touches. I have done some buttons and I'm going to add a few of the sequins around the page as well. And that is going to be my project. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Definitely give me a thumbs up and head over to the shop. I actually have a coupon code. It is crystal15. So definitely check that out. I am super excited. I love their stuff. I am so honored to be the guest designer. So remember to wear your crown and we'll see you next Tuesday. Bye.